Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing with you every single way you can get better at playing the hunter. But before we get into all of that good stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. It helps me out a ton. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. My first tip is for the more sweaty guys and that is to use an aim trainer. These are self-explanatory. They train your aim. There's all sorts of sites that you can go visit. I'll leave a link to one in the description below. But that is one of the ways that can really help to improve your aim. My next tip for you guys would be to get a custom scope. These things help you out so much with your aiming. And if you don't know how to get a custom scope, click the link in the top right hand corner, which will take you to a video where I explain how to choose a custom scope and how to get it into your game. Choosing your secondary is very important when playing the Hunter. I personally recommend the Deagle and the Alien Blaster since they have the highest damage and maybe a bit difficult to use but if you're using the Hunter you might as well use these other high accurate weapons too. But if you're uncomfortable with that and you like to go for a weapon which isn't as hard as the Deagle or the Alien Blaster the auto pistol and pistol are also good secondaries. My last couple of tips are for get even even better at Hunter. And these are probably some of the last things you'll start doing when you start practicing playing Hunter. You need to anticipate when people are gonna come around that corner. Like you've got to pre-aim it. You might even get to the stage where you pre-fire it, like you just know they're coming around that corner or you know they're going to spawn there. And that's like a really high level and that's when Hunter becomes OP. Because if you know that they're going to be there before they're there, you're unstoppable because they're never going to have a chance to fire back at you. And that's why Sniper can become so OP. Quick scoping should remain at medium range and close range and no scoping is only for those extra points that you really want you can do them close range if you're owning this go like you'll be hopping all around them and that stuff but if it's if it's a dangerous situation switch to your secondary and finish your job and then think about no scoping someone else my last tip for you guys would be movement movement is key especially with this class where it's only 60 hp you've only got 60 hp so you want to be avoiding those shots as much as possible. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>